console.readline is not the only method to get the user input in C# console application. There are two more methods available under console class. The first method is console.read and the second method is console.readkey. In this video we will talk about both these methods and we will learn how to use them and what is the difference in between them. To work on this concept, let's get a new console application. Let's create one more folder and under this folder I will create this new application that is the console application 1. Click on this next button, choose the .NET framework, click on this create button and here we have the basic console application. On this screen I want to write enter any message and this time I will be using console.read. Before using it further, let's see what are the details of this read method. If I will hover my mouse on this read method, then you will see we are getting some information. It is saying reads the next character from the standard input stream. It means it will read only one single character at a time. And if you are passing multiple characters over there, then this method will read only one. If we have read the first character and again we are using the same method, then the next method will read only the next character. Let's understand all of them one by one. So first here I'm writing where let's say here I'm writing user input and here I have to use the equal symbol to assign this read value to this user input and here you will see what is the type of this user input this type is coming from this read method if I will right click on this one and choose this go to definition you will see the return type of this method is integer why integer this read method will read one character at a time and it will return its sky value what are the sky values if you will open your browser and you will search for sky values here i'm using this wikipedia website and here is a list of all the sky values so zero stands for null start of heading it is one start of text it is two you will see there is a complete list again here you will see if i'm having a space then the corresponding sky values for this space is 32 and here is for all the symbols. So it means if I'm typing M on my console screen and I'm using the console.read method, then it will return the 77 value. Similarly, here are the small alphabets. So let's say here I'm typing N, then I will get 110 in the output window. Let's see how it will work. And to display this value again on the console screen, I can use the same method that is console.writeline. So here I'm typing console dot right line and let's type user input. This is a very basic program. Here we have written one line console dot right line and we are displaying just a message. Then we are reading the value by using the console dot read method. And then we are displaying this user input value on the console screen by using this console dot right line method. Let's run this application. Here first let's enter only one single character that is n. If I hit the enter button, you will see on the browser I'm getting this 110 value. If I compare the sky value of this n character, here you will see we are having this n, I'm getting 1110 and that is the correct sky value. Let's close it and let's run it again. Let's enter something else. For example, here I'm typing only space and hit the enter button. You will see I'm getting 32 number at this place. At this place you can see that the sky value for this space key is 32. It means this program is working fine. Now let's run this program again. And this time instead of writing one single character I will write a complete word. Let's say I'm typing my name. If I will hit the enter button then you will see we are only getting the first value that is n. We are getting only 110 and this is the sky value of n. We are not getting the values for the other characters i, t, i, s, h. Let's see how to get these values as well. There were total 6 characters in that name n, i, t, i, s, h. So let's use 6 methods over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And let's use some different names. So here I'm typing 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There is a great concept of debugging in CSRP application. If you will hold your mouse to the extreme of this window, then you will get a circle over here. And if you will click over here, it means you are setting a debugger at this place. And if you will run this program in the debug mode by using this button, note this one, this is without debugging, by using this button, then the execution of this program 
will be posed at this particular place let's see how it will work now so here we are getting the message and if i will enter a message like n i t i s h hit the enter button and if i want to see what are the values in all these variables i can hover my mouse on these variables so let's first hold the mouse on this first user input you will see we are getting a value 110 it means this console read method is reading the first character from that string that is n and the corresponding sky value of n is 110 that is why 110 is the value of this user input now if i will hover my mouse on this second one this time you will see its value is 105 it means the sky value of i is 105 let's verify this one also here is the small i and you will see the corresponding sky value is 105 then for t it is 116 and again if i will hover my mouse on this third variable then you will see we are getting the same message it is 116 again you will see we are getting this 105 which is i then 115 for s and at the last we are getting 104 this is how we can read all the characters by using the console load read method now here is one more very interesting concept let's say i'm removing two of them let's put a debugger as well here and let's run this application again this time i will enter only one single character over here so it is n hit the enter button and this time i want to verify what are the values in these variables so in the first one we are getting 110 which is correct in the second one you will see we are getting 13 and in the third one we are getting 10 why we are getting these two values let's go to the chart so the first value was 13 here is the 13 i want to verify what is the corresponding key for this 13 so here you will see we are getting the char is return it means if you are working on the windows operating system the windows application will always add this char is return automatically after every line then you are having 10 and 10 is for new line these are two things that are getting appended by the windows application automatically whatever value you will type over there always you will get these two things Now here is again one very important concept. Here you can see we are using multiple console load read methods to display the values, but it is not always a good practice because the user can enter any value. In the previous example, we were using six read methods because we were aware that we will type only n i t i s h, which is having six characters. But what will happen if user is entering ten characters or two characters at that time? to handle that situation in c sharp we have to use few more concepts and here i will use the do while loop for this concept although we will learn more about this do while loop in upcoming videos but here because we have a need to display the value multiple times that is why i'm using it do while loop over here let's cut this line and paste it over here and this console load right line as well so if i will cut it paste it over here here i'm writing a condition while true it means this loop will work in the infinite mode i do not want that as well so what is the type of this user input it is integer so instead of writing this where i can simply type int as well over here what is this int this int is also a data type in c sharp application and instead of using the where keyword only in the situation you can use the int so let's say i'm using this declaration at this place like this and i can use it over here user input it will work if i will use the where keyword over here we will get the error why because if we are using the where keyword then we must use the right hand side part okay let's back to this change i want to run this condition until the user input is not equal to let's say this caps a it is 65 If we are typing capital A in the string, then we will get exit from this do while loop. Otherwise, this program will run continuously. Okay, let's run this application again. So here I'm typing n i t i s h, and if I will hit the enter button, you will see we are getting the sky values of all these characters. So n i t i s h, and here we are getting this char is written, and this one is for the new line. Let's run this application again. here i'm typing only let's say small a hit the enter button and you will see we are getting three values these two values will always be there because the windows operating system is appending these two things over there now let's say that instead of displaying those sky values i want to display the exact character how to do that so there is a method for that also and i can use convert 
dot to care and i can pass this value if you are learning the programming for the first time then at this point you might get confused that how do i remember all these methods name and the simple answer is it is just the practice once you will practice more on c sharp projects then you will understand all these concepts automatically okay let's run this application again and let's type our message n i t i s h hit the enter button and you will see we are getting n i t i s h and there are two more lines because there is no corresponding character for those values that is why we are having them blank but if you will display the sky you will see we are having both of them now let's talk about one more method which is read key let's go inside this console class and let's search for the read key here we are having this read key method this read key method will return the console key info okay so for now i can just comment this entire code let's say i'm commenting it like this and here i'm writing enter any key or press any key fine now let's say i'm writing where user input and remember we have already used this user input over here but this time we have commented this code so we will not get any error i can use it over here but if this line is not commented like this then we will get an error over here you will see the program is saying that user input is already there let's comment this line and we can work over here and here i'm writing console dot read key okay let's hold the mouse on this read key method and let's see what is there obtains the next character or function key pressed by the user it means this read key method will return the information of the key that you will press at this particular line console dot write line and here i'm typing user input okay let's put a debugger at this place and let's run this application in the debug mode and to run the application in the debug mode we have to use this button click on this one now we are getting the message press any key this, this message is coming from this line okay now let's say this time i'm pressing m remember i have not pressed the enter button i have only pressed one single key and automatically this program is going to the max line so what we have in this user input here you will see we are getting some information it is saying the key is m and the key character is 109 modifiers there is no modifier as of now so what are the learnings about this read key method this read key method will start the execution automatically whenever you will press any key let's hit the continue button and here we are getting some different information it is system dot console key info we will come to this one also but before that let's run this application again and this time i will press control n let's see what we have in this user input over the mouse over here you will see the key is n but in the modifiers we are having control so this method is telling us the information of all the keys that we are typing in our program if you will see we are having user input and what is the name of this user input it is system dot console key info and this is something that got displayed on the console window but let's say i want to display this key how to do that i have to use user input dot key how let's stop it and here i'm typing dot key this one save the changes run this application again and this time let's remove this debugger also so let's press n and you will see we are getting the same message over here this is the value that we are getting from this console dot right line method instead of using this key i can also use this key care let's say what is the value this time run this application type n and you will see we are getting the same n over here this is how you can use these two methods read and the read key remember the read method will read only one single character at a time on the other hand this read key method will return the value of the key that we will press at this particular execution line